Ladies and gentlemen, many of you might have heard about the um, surveillance balloon that they believe was from China floating across America. Well, it was shot down this afternoon over the Carolina coast. So the U.S. shot down a Chinese surveillance balloon off the Carolina coast on Saturday after a high altitude balloon spent the last week traveling across the country, according to the Pentagon. This afternoon at the direction of President Joe Biden. So they sent up an aircraft that shot it down. So it was assigned to the U.S. Northern Command. They successfully brought it down. And wow. And they said it was launched by the People's Republic of China over the water off the coast of South Carolina in U.S. airspace. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said in a statement, an operation is reportedly underway to recover the debris from the downed balloon, according to the Associated Press. So I guess they were successful in bringing it down with no problem. And the FAA paused flights from three airports in North Carolina and South Carolina and closed additional airspace on Saturday afternoon as part of a national security effort. With the Defense Department, the balloon had been seen traveling over the Carolinas on Saturday. U.S. military commanders had previously declined to shoot down the balloon, which was estimated to be about the size of three school buses and traveled about six, uh, 60,000 feet due to safety concerns on the ground per AP. U.S. defense officials confirmed the existence of the balloon on uh, Thursday after it was first spotted hovering over uh, Montana on Wednesday, Beijing acknowledged on Friday that the balloon was Chinese, but claimed it was a, a civilian airship used primarily, they claim it was for meteorology, which I, I don't believe at all, but this is what they're claiming. Okay. So the Chinese side regrets the unattended entry of the airship into U.S. airspace due to, um, so they're saying that this did not happen on purpose. It happened by accident that the balloon ended up over here, but I guess they had it up there for the weather. Well, it came a long way, didn't it? However, the presence of the balloon has heightened tensions in an already strained relationship between Beijing and Washington. So the Secretary of State, Antony Blanken, postponed a trip to Beijing on Friday with a senior State Department official calling the balloon a clear violation of our sovereignty as well as international law. So this is what they're saying. So the U.S. has refused to accept China's explanation for the balloon, alleging that it was an attempt to surveil strategic sites within the U.S. I don't know. I, 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 to be honest with you, I don't believe China's explanation either. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Well, it's destroyed now. It can't surveil anything. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.